one. Fight. It's Robots got to. It's really fight. got really no other option. It's the only way to defeat Project Liftoff. You've got to stop that uh, spinning body. Oh, interesting. It looks like Project Liftoff has put on like a little bit longer of a tooth. Probably a good idea with the amount of reach Caldera has over oh, it. Oh, wow. Caldera is now on its back. Oh! Oh, that's not good. If there was a camera there, he would have taken it out. Holy smokes. Glenn Boxel knows that he needs to be absolutely aggressive in this match. He's got to stop Project Liftoff. But oh, that minibot is doing great. Nice. Wedge bots, uh, so the mini bots uh, serve a bunch of different purposes in these fights. In this particular case, the wedge bot is there to high center the opponent and pin the opponent. They're allowed to do so for 10 seconds. One of the smartest things that Project Liftoff oh. ever did was to introduce a mini bot into the, uh, the box, giving itself time to spin up completely. It is also introducing another foreign object into the box that it could potentially launch itself off of. Oh, yeah. Like a water ski, Chris. Ooh, right. They're yeah. like a font. I like that. Wow. Project Liftoff is pursuing. It's really intent on trying to break Project Liftoff. But Already we've seen in September that that is an incredibly tough robot in Project Liftoff. It is difficult to kill. That squealing sound that you hear is from Project Liftoff. It is those very sharp metal wheels that are digging into the floor and uh, giving it the traction that it needs to spin up as quickly as it does. You can also see the damage that those wheels do to the floor as it moves along. Yes. It cuts wow. the path as it moves around the box. Dude, it's like a spirograph. It's oh, like oh, nice reference. Yes. Yeah. I was going to say it's like the uh, an anti uh, Zamboni. <laughs> yeah, you always know which arena Project Liftoff has been fighting in. Oh, oh look at this. The teeth on Project Liftoff have been peeled up. Wow. Wow. It's turning itself into a crown, Chris. Not safe to wear. Do not wear this crown. Do not wear this crown. Don't yeah. you tell me what to do, Kyle. I'm just saying I like your noggin the way it is. Don't do it. 20 Whoa! seconds left, more Ouch. big hits. These two robots refuse to die. This is why we're in the finals, Kyle. Project Liftoff, best example of a melty brain spin we have at this competition. <laughs> oh. Five, four, three, two, one. That's the match. Turn off your weapon, Project Liftoff. Make your way to the door if you can. You see Glenn Boxel giving a little virtual high five to Andrew. This one will go to the judges. Do you think we can get a, a shot of Project Liftoff? I'm really interested in seeing how those teeth look yeah, I uh, now that after well. that match. All, All right, right looks the like they're, uh, they're opening up the, the uh, Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at oh that. my god. Look at that. I would like to point out that this bot was running the entire three right. minutes. And look at it now. Wow. That is amazing. I mean, the MVP of, of that was the, was the mini bot. Yeah, yeah. for sure. That what are those wheels of made out of? That is amazing. Wow, good job, Kazmers. Look at this. Jim Kazmer driving the mini bot. Excellent, excellent work. Uh, the mini bot, absolutely crucial to the uh, to the success of Project Liftoff. Yeah. Uh, really like allowing uh, Andrew to spin up completely. I think that the mini bot going forward into 2022, key, key. All right, we're gonna go over to the judges as they deliberate. Ooh, oh my gosh, split, split, split. What? <gasps> oh. Ha, <laughs> ah, I see. Ah. Wow. 